How do y'all welcome back to my channel today? I'm with all my friends at Six Flags. Okay, how do y'all welcome back? I'm going to explain to you why this was probably one of my worst Six Flag experiences ever. I've been going to Six Flags forever. I love it pretty much every single time. This time there were just a lot of complications that you guys will find out about. So the first complication we had of the day was that we had originally 11 people coming and for like such a big party, um, we had just one person pay online for all of us and then one person just decided to dip because they didn't want to go on roller coasters. So we had an extra ticket and then when we first walked into the park, we tried to sell that ticket for like 20 minutes. Also, I'm gonna put my hair up. Okay, so as you can see in these next few videos, there are like little mentions of um, the ticket that we did not sell. <laughs> hey, we out here. Hey, are you looking for a no, squad really up? <laughs> Oh, TDG, can you tell us a little bit about is your this, channel? This for the vlog on Emma Rose? Yes, channel? yes. All right, guys. You, you, here's what you gotta do right now. You gotta go type the Dirty Gorillas into YouTube. Drop a sub. Fresh drop a, drop, drop some Fresh likes. Drop some Drop some likes. We're on the road to monetization. You know, on the road to hundred subs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, go ahead. Go show it. Hundred subs. On the road to hundred subs. At the end of the day, man, I'm gonna leave you All right. Is that all you have to say? That's all I have to say. That's all. Okay. Okay, so the first thing that we tried to do when we got into the park was go straight to Gotham City, which is where a lot of the good rides are, and we wanted to go on the Batman. Turns out, the Batman was experiencing some technical difficulties, so as soon as we got in line, they're like, okay, y'all, just get out of line, like, we're closing it. So anyways, we're like, oh, no worries, like, let's just go to Mr. Freeze, which is my favorite ride, like, it's so fun. <laughs> Ew. I'm sorry, okay. Jay Bill! Jay Bill! A little. Alex! 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 I'm excited. Favorite ride. Favorite ride? Favorite ride. Favorite ride? No cap. No cap? <laughs> so, the blue ride you're about to see is Mr. Freeze, and in my opinion, is the best one. Oh, and this video originally was gonna be me, like, filming the roller coasters with my GoPro so I turned it on and then they're like okay hands up check 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 and then he was like oh yeah you can't do that and I was like why but I mean I guess it's a rule I didn't know that anyways we got in the line for Mr. Freeze and after waiting there we got to the very front and they're like okay y'all um technical difficulties we're gonna have to close it down since you guys are in the front of the line you can stay here if you want and wait until it, it reopens back up and we're like okay well um how long are we going to be waiting for and he's like i can't really tell you i'm really sorry and i was like well how long does this normally last he's like again like i can't really give any numbers i'm really sorry but you guys are welcome to stay here and we're like like <sighs> we were getting really agitated because the second ride that we tried to go on was experience experiencing difficulties so we ended up waiting for a while and then finally we got on and we went on it, which was really fun. And then literally after we went on, like people were waiting again and then they closed it down again. And I was like, jeez. <laughs> so. Okay, so after Mr. Freeze, we decided to go back to Batman because we heard it was up and running again. And it was, so we got to go on that, which was fun. Hey, best ride. <laughs> After that, we decide to go ride the Joker. So we're like, oh my god, yes, let's go do that. And we went over there, and it was literally down. And we're like, three rides in a row are literally down. Like, we were just shocked. So then we decided to go on this other ride, and we went back, and it was still down. <laughs> it was not good. It was not good at all. Uh. Okay, 
go. All right, so by this point, it's like one o'clock, two o'clock. All of us play tennis and we didn't want to completely skip practice for the day. So we hit until 10 and then we all like went and ate lunch at like 11. And then we went to Six Flags after there, afterwards. So we got to Six Flags at like 12. And it literally hit 100 that day. It was so hot. <laughs> and we all had to, the eight or nine of us, however many there were, had to share two drink cups that were just refillable. Because... <laughs> They're so expensive. Um. Anyways, my point is that it was so hot outside. Like all of us were sweating. We all lost our energy like that. Like. <laughs> okay. Next, we went on another one of my favorite rides, which is the Superman, and this one had no problems. Like we were, we were really good. <laughs> No, that makes it more fun. Yeah, it makes it worse. <laughs> Did you see his face? He was like... <laughs> How was that, Max? How was it? A rush. What a rush. What a rush. <laughs> Another thing. We won this, like, poop hat <laughs> that was rainbow colored. And then one of us literally left it at a ride. And we didn't get it back. <laughs> it was so sad. Meanwhile, all of us are burning. We're hungry because we ate at 11 and we're not about to buy food at Six Flags because it's like $30 for like a burger. <laughs> that was fun. We were really sad, but we got some pictures in it. So, you know, it was um, worth it for sure. Oh yeah, there it hey, is. Hey dude, you're a winner. You're a winner. You're a winner. <laughs> you're a winner. Yay! Not gonna lie, I completely forgot about this ride. So after that ride, this is the climax of the day, okay? So after that ride, we decided to go to a ride called Shockwave, which is green and it and it goes upside down twice. It's pretty fun. So we go over to Shockwave. So you have to like walk around this big like wooden gate in order to even get in the entrance for the line. But there was no line. So we're like, okay, well, why don't we just like climb over the gate? And then so most of us went over to this lady who had this rope and she was like, okay, just go under the rope. And we're like, great, thanks. And then Mark literally decided to like climb over the fence. But instead of climbing over the wooden fence, he climbed on top of the wooden fence and then on top of a metal fence to get himself like right next to where the ride starts. And so all of us eventually get up there and then while we're standing in line, one of the guys that's operating the line, he goes up to Mark and he's like, hey, did you like climb the fence to get up here? And then Mark was like, um, and before like Mark could even give a response, he was like, it's a yes or no question. It's not that hard. And Mark was like, yeah, maybe. And then the guy was like, it's not a maybe answer, it's a yes or no. And so he was like, yes. And then the guy literally went off on him. The guy was like, you cannot be doing that because if you fall and, you know, break your leg, then that's on us because you were being irresponsible and you didn't want to walk around. The guy was really being really mean about it. And I understand that it is their responsibility and if we were to like sue then that would be terrible because it was literally like our mistake. But he was just so rude. And I was like, why don't you just say, hey, like, please don't do that again because it's on us if you hurt yourself. And that's that. He would have been like, Mark would have been like, oh, okay. The guy like took literally everything the wrong way. So Mark was like, yeah, okay, like, okay. And then he was like, oh, you want to give me attitude? You know what? If you don't leave this line right now, I'm calling security. <laughs> and the rest of us, literally the rest of the eight of us are literally standing there like, like this guy is so mean. So Mark literally left because he was like, okay, I'm just not gonna like mess with this anymore. And all of us are like, did that just happen? <laughs> we skirted out of there so fast. So yeah, 
The security could have come and kicked us out. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> so after that, we decided to go ride the Titan, which is the biggest, fastest roller coaster at Six Flags. If you have ever been to Six Flags Dallas, you know which one I'm talking about. It's the huge orange one. And if you haven't, just look it up. Like, YouTube has some great videos. And this ride goes so fast, like 60 or 70 miles per hour, I'm pretty sure, maybe even faster than that. And there's this one part of the ride where it goes like this, and you're going 60 miles an hour, and it goes like this. And I knew from last year that it really made, like, my head hurt, but this year it was literally so much worse. <laughs> so there's two toilet bowls on the whole ride. I don't know why, maybe, I mean, is that fun? I, I guess for some people. So... <laughs> The second time we went on the toilet bowl, my vision literally went black. Like I went like this and I was like, I cannot see anything. Like I literally felt like I was gonna pass out and lose consciousness on the ride. Jerry. Yeah. How are you feeling? Hopefully I don't get kicked out. <laughs> Again? Again. Oh, there's Jared and Max. Jared and Max. Okay, so by this point, we're all burning, we're dying. After going on the Titan, we're like, okay, time for Aquaman. And Aquaman is so fun. It's this ride that goes up, you know, decently high, and it plunges you down into this huge pool of water, and the water goes, sprays up and just falls on you, and you get completely soaked. And it's not like a little, like, oh, look, a little splash, like, no. It's like the heaviest rain ever just like falling down on you and so we were like okay yes time to cool ourselves down this is the perfect time we'll have time to dry let's do it and so we go over to where the aquaman you know is and we find out that it is under construction and that it no longer exists <laughs> and we were like are you serious right now we were really sad about that, so then we were like, okay, well, why don't we just go on, like, this, like, rapids ride or whatever, and Mark was like, oh, no, I don't want to get wet, and we we're like, oh, come on, like, you won't even get wet, it's probably going to be fine, so we went, and this was our longest wait, I want to say it was, like, 45 minutes, and I know, like, that isn't bad at all, but considering there were no people at Six Flags that day, because it was 100 degrees, like, this one was a really long line, oh, you know why it was a long line? Because the Aquaman is gone and everyone wanted to cool off. That is why. So after this ride, Mark is the only one who got soaking wet. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> Stupid adult. <laughs> what? Stupid adult. <laughs> How were the rapids? <laughs> Only one that got wet. <laughs> okay, so after that, we decided to go to a ride called Runaway Mountain, which is pretty fun. It's like pitch black in there, so you can't really see where you're going, which is pretty cool. And we had a good experience there. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! We're Another leaving doomy. now. Another Gumi? Another Gumi? We're leaving now. We had a great successful day at Six Flags. And Gumi we're all... Gang, Gumi Gang, Gumi Gang. Gumi Gang. We're all literally pooped. Rip Mark, Gumi Gang. <laughs> rip Mark. Mark, do you want to tell them what happened? Dude, actually, this entire day was Rip Mark. Got annihilated by our... Hi. 
got kicked out of a ride, I got soaked, and I left my sh**. <laughs> yeah, that was basically it. Other than that, pretty much all the rides like were just malfunctioning. They were just what? They were sh**. Yikes. And I didn't sell my tickets, so I lost a hundred so dollars. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's it, bye! In the end, I'm so thankful to have all of these friends that I went with to Six Flags. I love them all dearly. And they are the reason that this day wasn't so much worse than it was. <laughs> I mean, it was rough. Anyways, again, I am not throwing any shade at Six Flags. I love Six Flags. I think that overall, they are very well managed and well run. Anyways, if you guys thought this video was sad or funny or stupid, give it a like anyways. Comment down below any other video ideas that you have or any experiences you have at Six Flags. Remember to subscribe and join the fam because it's going to be a good old time. Bye! Okay, so after my... What?